Good morning. My name is Akesh Gupta and I'm from Lightspeed Solutions. Today in this presentation, I will demonstrate how easy it is to integrate any RNSpeed application with Active Directory for authentications as well as permissions. To begin with, let's take an example. Here is uh, an RNSpeed application which has been designed from a very standard Southwind database where we have uh, customers and employees. We have just uh, picked up the two default tables and have generated the application and we will run the application. This will demonstrate to you that these are the two standard tables for customers and employees and as you can notice on the right side, right under the printer icon, there is no information about sign-in. As far as our information on Active Directory goes, we are part of a lightspeed.local domain and we have made an OU by the name RNSpeed in which we have a user administrator with which I'm currently logged in and we have two security groups by the name sales and support. Now if I go back to my RNSpeed application, go back to my tools, application security wizard, I can pick Active Directory as my authentication as well as the role-based security type for permissions can also be Active Directory groups. Please note that this feature is only available in the Enterprise Edition of RNSpeed. Once you click Next, RNSpeed will automatically try to discover the domain controllers and will select the default domain controller which most of the time is sufficient. In case your domain controller is not listed, please talk to your administrator to find out the proper details and you can add one manually. In this case, we will just select the default and click Next. After selecting default, we can still click Next to not make any changes to any pages yet. And I can click Finish, regenerate the application. Please make sure that you close the browser because if you try to run the application as a separate tab, the same security credentials are used, which in this case will not be accurate. Now when we run this application, the application will once again run. Of course, uh, I should have rebuilt it. I probably forgot to rebuild it. Now when you run the application, as you will see, the customer screen will show up and now you are able to see a message you are not signed in, which tells me that the security is enabled and we, don't, we do not need to sign in because by default, we allowed every single page to be accessible to every single user. Let's go back to RNSpeed, security wizard again, and this time we make a change that all the pages are allowed to sign in users only from my Lightspeed domain controller. Let's build it again, close the browser. And run. As seen, since my customers and employees pages are no longer allowed to be shown to ev any user who's not signed in, I've been prompted with a sign in page. At this time, the username and password that I'm supposed to type in is nothing to do with any user table that's defined in the database, but it will be your Active Directory username and password. So I'm going to type in my Active Directory username and password, which is the administrator. And I will try to log in. Now, since my Active Directory username and password were authenticated by AD, I'm logged in as an administrator. And as you can see, once I'm logged in, I can go to any page I wish to go. Now let's actually go back to Active Directory and make a small change where my support group, which was a security group, did not have any members. So I'm going to basically add my administrator as a member of the support security group. And as far as the sales is concerned, no one is member of the sales group. Now if I come back to my RSPeed application and just scan for database changes just to make sure if there's any database changes that might have occurred. There were none. Now you can go back to into tools, application security wizard, click on next, next. And over here what I would like to do is I would like to say that my employee section which is my employee pages are only allowed to be 
shown to my sales folks all right so we have said that employees are visible to sales and customers are visible to support and the language page will be visible to signed in users which we will not touch at this point so in this particular case my employee pages are being available to the sales security group in Active Directory and my customers pages are going to be available to support group in Active Directory just closing the browser page going back to iron speed rebuilding it just in case some things were left pending now I'm going to try to run the page again And of course, we are supposed to be signing in again. And my username and password will be validated against Active Directory. As you can see, I'm signed in. Since I was part of the support group administrator, I'm allowed to have access to any page for customers. I can go into edit. Or I can go anywhere and I'm allowed to go in but as soon as I try to go to employees I will be re redirected to a forbidden page because I do not have access to the employee page since I do not belong to the sales group now let's go back and make administrator the member of the sales group also now when we look at our application let's just go back we can log out if you want to and we can log back in now if I click on employees I'm allowed to have access to all my employees table as you folks saw just by configuring Active Directory security groups and assigning different users to different security groups and then assigning those in my Active Directory security wizard for authentication which is the area where we validate the user whether they can log in as well as allow the security type to be Active Directory groups which controls which pages will have access to which security groups in Active Directory it is very very straightforward to implement an Active Directory in an RN speed application so this concludes our Active Directory integration Please uh, look out for more videos from uh, Lightspeed Solutions as well as other MVPs and uh, we hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks.